I was watching Chas Terman's video the other day and he was doing a product review on Amp Human. And I'll have that video just linked in the description below. As I was watching it, I was thinking, I can remember when I was a little kid and I wanted to get on the bike and ride. I would get on the bike and ride. Now, I have to make sure I stop eating three hours before the ride, make sure I have the right kit on, I put chamois butter on, electro gel on my heart rate monitors, got to make sure that my uh, computers and my cameras are charged up and stick them on the bike. It would take me about half hour to get out the door and now we want somebody to put on something else. There was something that he said that caught my ear, that his amp human decreased his muscle soreness. If you've seen my video, my previous video on fatigue, stress, and the body's response, you can see why that would be important to me. And if you haven't seen that video, I'll have that linked in the description below too, and I'll put it above Chaz's. When I do a hard workout or a hard group ride, my muscles are often sore after that. And the soreness is because there's little micro tears and inflammation that happens in that immediate area so that uh, the healing process can, can start. Now, as uh, when I want to get home, I'll do uh, uh, self-massage. I'll uh, make sure I eat the right things, uh, get enough sleep. To be able to do that, by forcing it, I would, have, I would uh, secrete epinephrine or adrenaline from my uh, adrenal glands. Part of its effect would be to make my heart go faster. And when you're aphid boy like me, you don't want your heart to go faster when it shouldn't go faster, if your body doesn't want it to go faster. Because that's a one-way ticket to getting another aphid attack. So, usually after these hard workouts, I don't do anything hard the next day. Even if there wasn't much soreness involved, I still probably wouldn't do anything hard the next day because I pushed myself, my heart, that day before. But there's maybe things I can do that I wouldn't do because of the muscle soreness. So that's where my experiment comes in. Today is day four of the T-Block. Tomorrow's going to be my last day. So if you haven't seen my previous videos, the first day I did a sweet spot training on a climb. The second day was I, I dialed it back and I went endurance. And, uh, and I can tell there was muscle soreness, so it's a good thing I went endurance with, with a couple of my teammates. Then yesterday was a very easy group ride on Zwift. Uh, I think I averaged like uh, 1.5 watts per kilogram. So today is going to be a group ride with my teammates. Uh, more than likely, it's not going to be uh, endurance pace. And tomorrow, what I want to do, and this is where the experiment comes in to see if this app human works for me, is I want to do another big climbing workout. So whether I'm able to do that is going to depend on how this app human is going to turn out for me. And that's what today and tomorrow's video is about. Hey, Slacking community, this is Steve Grusis, The Cycling Greek. We are 45 minutes into our three hour plus ride. Up to this point, we've been holding steady endurance. We are now starting on a nearly one mile low grade climb that we'll be taking on at a threshold pace. The rest of the ride was filled with mostly endurance, ample tempo, and a little bit of race play. With this being the fourth day of my five day training block, I was wondering if I was giving Amp Human a proper test. Even though I had a very easy day yesterday, on day one I did have that sweet spot training on a big climb. If there was significant pre-existing muscle soreness to today's test, that can skew my subjective results. There were two main areas I was looking at. First, does AMP Human work as advertised? More specifically, does it benefit me during the ride and does it benefit me the next day? And second, is it good for someone to use that subject to AFib attacks? So, how would I categorize my performance in today's ride? I would call it borderline surprising. In spite of the three previous training days of this block, my legs never faltered. Well, except for those two sprints, but I usually suck in those sprints. Did I do as well as I did because I used Amp Human? My answer is, quite possibly. After the ride and into the evening, I do what I usually do in terms of recovery. I eat mostly the right things and mostly the right amounts. I rest, I go for a walk, I do massage. Actually, in terms of massage, I made sure that no muscle was left untouched with that rolling pin. I worked my legs. And then lastly, get sufficient sleep. The next day's workout, the last of this training block, was going to depend on a number of factors, including the amount of muscle soreness that I had.
Man, that was a good workout. It had a little bit of everything in it. A lot of endurance, ample tempo, playful, upper intensity stuff, and a couple sprints. So that'll give my amp human uh, experiment a good test. This is the last day of the T-Block, day five. And rather than do the uh, uh, big climbing workout that I had originally planned, I opted to do a solid two hour endurance ride on the flats. I'll tell you why through the ride when I give you my evaluation of the amp human test that I'm conducting. Two hours later. That was two hours of focused endurance, 219 watt average. That was good and draining, as the fifth day of a five day training block should be. I'm going to go in, take a shower, relax, get my thoughts together, and give you my thoughts on Amp Human, not only as a product as it was designed for, but also what you have to watch out for if you're subject to AFib like I am. So what are you guys doing? Just poking around? It is now the day after my five-day training block. What do I think of Amp Human? You may recall earlier in the video I was talking about the, the first time I used it was on stage four, stage four, on day four. And that it's my belief by just this much that it helped my situation, helped my ride. And uh, later on that night, after you take a shower, things settle down, pain starts to settle in. Again, it's my belief by just this much that I was not as sore as I would have been with that not using it. So now it's the next day, day five, and I have a choice of, depending how I feel, doing a uh, harder climbing workout or doing something else. And because, uh, and my legs were feeling good, but I chose to do the something else. I'll talk about that in a bit. So what I did was uh, about two and a half hours in which I did a two hour endurance, a focused endurance interval. And so that means I'm always applying pressure to the pedals, always doing that full circle spin, never stopping. And I finished that with a 219 watt average. If I was a younger cycling Greek, I would have finished it with around 240 watt average, but I'm 65 year old cycling Greek. So the 219 was, uh, that was pretty good for me. So the reason why I didn't do the climbing workout is even though, and this is what I have to watch out for, uh, being subject to AFib using Amp Human, I can't use muscle soreness anymore as a major indicator for my fatigue. I have to use other things. So even though my muscles weren't sore and I can go stronger, I have to keep in mind that the rest of my system is fatigued from what I did yesterday and actually what I did the previous four days. So uh, I don't need to push things. So the, that solid endurance ride was, uh, was actually perfect for me. It had its own benefits. All right, what do you guys think? Uh, anything that you disagree with what I said and with your experience, please listen in the comments below. Any other thoughts that you have, uh, put them in the comments below. Stage is four, stage again. Uh, day four and five of my training block is going to, the Strava links for that is going to be in the description below. And as always, comment, like, subscribe. The Cycling Greek.